All right, starting with Town. Lucina, Palutena. These women are powerful, independent, don't need no man. Bop. Now, this is a set where there's a lot of mind games going on because they play each other so much that it's like they're already on like the seventh meta of E versus Gen. Nice, you see, he waited for that spot dodge. Nah, nah. First things first, that shouldn't have hit. Second, that shouldn't have killed. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> nice parry. That's, that's a really good exposed flame. That makes him so safe. Back throw. What are you going to do with it? Can you keep him there? Ooh, that up to just missed. All right. Takes it back. He ain't bleeding too much yet. Whoa, that grab range. <laughs> he definitely tried to cheese him off that little clip of a beat. I love, I love what Jen tried there. Uh, he didn't get all the way through like he wanted to. There's no jump there. Yeah, he was done. He had no jump, the explosive flame made a move weird. Good stuff on Jen. Saw that up air phantom. Oh, he fought his way back? E! Swinging like that? Oh, that was really good. Then two this back on the mic. Yo, whoa! Bro, I don't know how he lands these slow smash attacks so often, dude. He really just smack. Oh my god. You guys didn't hear it. Uh uh. But Devin did the countdown for when my mic was gonna be hot. <laughs> and the sec the second he got down to the last number, pa! that F smash landed. Pa! And he died. It was actually a countdown to the to the end of the game. Yeah, really. it wasn't even for you. Yeah, it, it was, he knew it was for the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just you, you may have heard your mic is hot. I actually said Jen gonna land F smash in five, four, three, <laughs> two. Yeah. Said Jen's playing hot. Going for a ballsy read like that. What is that? End on frame fifty? <laughs> right? You're nuts. Final destination is the pick. This is a stage that can definitely benefit either of these, uh, either of these players, either of these characters for sure. I mean, Palutena, with those loops, she lands one nair on you. You're gonna get dragged all around like it's, you know, like you're tied to a truck or something. And right. but Lucina, you know, the way she spaces around, no platforms to really be able to run away from time to time. This yeah, is a stage that could definitely benefit them both. Lucina's the kind of character where she's not necessarily comboing you, but she swings at you and she plays advantage state in the spot where you're not even like allowed to swing back, so it's like it feels never ending in a weird way. Mm. That is a good way to put it, you know, it's like it's not even true, but it's like this guy's just so good at reading you. You know, getting components in disadvantage and then uh, guessing what they're going to do as a down smash does take the stock. He's been going up for that a lot today. Down yeah, tilt, down smash. You don't get to be the best Lucina in the world unless you know how to keep people in disadvantage. And has he been doing that a lot today? Down tilt, down smash. That's brand new. I've never seen that before. This guy's brand new out here. Brand new. Oh, a B. Get off me. That's not brand new. I see. Down throw to nothing because obviously it's not a Just combo. Wait. So what is my man going to do? He just wants to see what you want to do. Just wait. Broken. A lot of characters have amazing advantage states when other when their opponents are in disadvantage state. Yo, you're both insane. You're yeah, both, they're both nuts. nuts. They're both nuts. They try to spike each other like two times each. Yo, nobody even eats chock full of nuts anymore. We, we use espressos. Freaking uh -huh. cur eggs, dude. What are you guys doing? Get these nuts out of here. Holy hell, these, these guys, guys are crazy, crazy yeah. going off stage for that shit. 
And that's Macro. a dude. What's going on? Ooh, I thought that he was, was waiting for really like a good neutral for me. B, but yeah. Really good patience, you know, and really good tracking as well, you know, like holding it at just the right timing to make sure he could up E and uh, throw. Please get out just of there. precisely the time. That's buffed, my guy. I'm pretty sure that would have killed Creepash, to be honest. Yeah, probably. But that's that buffed, my broken. guy. Yeah, no, it, it probably would have killed regardless. So there we go, another neutral air to the back air getting him off stage. What a beautiful position for Jen. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Bing. Oh, I, I, didn't, I did it wrong. Yeah. When these guys play, they like when they get one hit, they have such a good understanding of each other. They take it so far. I do believe it was the um, the uh, not late but great uh, Glenn Tendo who oh, once said uh, he he theorized that the up smash at a B out of shield does take the stock. He theorized that the higher the level you go, like when you get to these guys' level, Jen and Mr. E, he feels like mid-level players can play a certain extent of neutral with them if they're good enough, but that when these guys touch you, you just die. And that he feels like it's more about punish game than anything else. And of course, Glentendo, you know, has the reputation of being the greatest player of all time. So I'm taking his words <laughs> as, you know, as facts. But, like, you got a good point. When these guys touch you, man, with just any stray hit, it takes you a lot farther. At top level, man, every character yeah. becomes Mario. It's <laughs> every scary. character combo you. That's why Mario's easy, you know? Like, he does that at a mid-level. Because oh, it's built into his character. Kill him at 13%. I would have liked to see that. Would have been funny. Dash attack. All right, he, spacing he fair. For back here. Mm. Like the way he's facing fair by the ledge right there, not overextending at all, making sure this guy's going to get by the ledge and just Ooh, keep that disadvantage state that's going. That's the crown. Put this queen out here, dude. Down See, tilt. Down so Ooh. You're right. Haven't been casting enough today, so I didn't even notice. Okay, that's a punish for sure. Oh, he didn't burn his jump. That was so good on Jen. I, I'm pretty sure he was waiting for the jump. I was waiting for the jump. Mm. So scary, man. Last Ooh. stop! Go, you whip a grab like that. I don't think he wanted a grab. I don't know. I mean, I don't think he wanted a jab. No, I think he might have wanted a forward smash he, or a grab or something. He can that. You know that, right? Yeah. Can he? Yeah. If Palu dash attacks a shield like that, he can up smash it. That's broken. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, it was definitely it. not There's positive no on block. This is bad. Oh my god, what a fade right. He died, but what a fade that, back. That was, uh, I'm an expert at Palu. I know I should be dead, so this is my this is my recovery mix-up that nobody's ready for. You don't see secondary Palus do that. Except for my secondary Palu. Funny match? <laughs> no. <laughs> Lucina dash attack is... Secondary Palu diddles? Minus 21, yeah. But Palus is pretty bad on block, too. Yeah, it's actually like... So many people think like, oh, it's invincible, just broken, whatever. And it's like, yeah, to, to trade. You, yeah, can't, it, you can't really be trading with that. It's broken on me with no out of shield options. But if you have an out of shield <laughs> yeah. option, then you, you should not be worried about that. Yeah, like what is Palu going to do on that? Like, it's not all positive on block or anything like no, that. It's no. literally just invincible. Like, invincible, positive on block, not the same thing, my friends. Lucina can definitely up smash that. Yeah, it scoops. It's like a hog and dogs, dude. Scoops from both sides. But back right. get him off, but he spacing him has out. All the control right now. Nice down to wow. Is he gonna jump again? No, he rolls. All right, Pac-Man Stadium, off towards the right. <laughs> He's chasing I appreciate it, the dude. sympathy giggle <laughs> by the ledge. And should be a forward throw. Obviously, up throw is not going to be enough to kill just yet. Mister E's been playing this character for years and years and years. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be wasting like up throw and staling it like on when you're at 130 percent, of course. But now that he's racking up to almost 150, if he gets another hit, that doesn't kill. I predict it might. He's just waiting for the back that air. Was I actually OT. Saw yeah. that for miles away, and it didn't matter that he saw it because where was he gonna go? He, he picked one gun, bad option. But you didn't know when he was gonna pull the trigger. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Oh, you didn't press the button when Palu so was there. So here's, here's the thing. When it comes to players like, like you know, Jen and E, when you take their, their first stock so dominantly like that, it's actually worse for you than if you let it go tip for tat. Because now they're like, I got beat up too bad, you yeah. know? And now they, that's when they can start bringing it back. Mm -hmm. So E has to be more careful now. Hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it's not about, like... It's not even just about getting ahead in stocks. It's you're in the lead. What are you going to do now? 
Yeah. How are you going to define yourself further as a player in this way? Like, do you get to get to the top level if you just like keep mashing in people's faces, even though like you're the one winning? No, you got to find okay. out the way that your character forces their advantage. Right. That's so 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 crucial, and it's a little bit harder for some certain characters, which is admirable for Mr. E because he plays a character like Lucina, who yes, lots of range, no projectile, you know, keep opponents at bay when you're the one in advantage. A lot of yep. other characters have projectiles, whatever, quick ones keep them off. This one. This one just has to outmaneuver you like they're like an offensive lineman. You know what I'm yep. saying? To be able to bob in and out to make sure they don't get hit by one of Palutena's gigantic and or invincible aerials to die right there. So, so Mr. Right here, E, living as great. long as he has, this ain't easy, 126. folks. 126. Like, look at that. This is extra credit. You're off the you passed the class, dude. <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you doing, man? You don't got <laughs> to show up like this. All right, now's the moment, though. You know how ultimate is. Palu could definitely give you 55 right now, so just relax. Mm -hmm. You don't want her to get back. It's the beauty of the game, man. You know, you just got to be on your toes at all points. Uh oh, see, this is where it's starting to be careful. Really test right. the measure of a that player. Was a good, that was a good way to fight. It was like, no, no, you're not getting this free. That's killing. Yep. Yeah. What are you going to do about that? It's the beauty of this game, man, is that characters can explode in you at any time. And some people would say they wouldn't like that, but you know. It just goes to show like how smart these players have to be to get around all the stuff that this game has. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You could be in advantage state, but then like your character that's you know the character that's a stock below, you don't ever know what they have. What if Palutena's a stock below? Are you really right. winning? You gotta be careful, my dude. And look, this actually doesn't even look too bad for Alan anymore. He played this last stock amazing. And he has to be careful. I love Smash, man. This game turns around like that. That was they parry that? Yeah, man, parry the platypus. <laughs> we're, we're, we're parry the platypus out here, dude. <laughs> Come on, no jump, now. no jump, no jump. Shout out to Wise Guy. He made that joke. Ooh, attacking on a little bit of extra damage with the auto reticle. I like it. Trying to secure his way back with the explosive flame. Nothing doing. E getting his shield out just perfectly, and now you are by the ledge again. All right. Ooh, I love the shield pressure right there. That was good. I Good on, good on Jen being aware of it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just like getting that up air into the back air. Yeah, it counts as a hit, but that doesn't matter if you're whittling that shield down. That was bad DI on a dash attack, but he didn't die. Yeah. Bad DI on a dash attack now will probably kill. And, you know, it looks like Jen recognized that. He went for it right there. Explosive flaming in neutral and then down tilting down in neutral. Do yep. That's how you cover an approach right there. I like that. It's like it was kind of like a bait. Oh, Jen with a good DI hey, on the it. way back. Yep, he got it. Not even the spike hitbox, my guy. <laughs> that, was very good. that was very good play for both. That was slice. I feel like I'm slice. up. That is correct. You are up. Time to go my guy. get beat up. And there goes the